Dear students, in this module, I'm going to solve an example for the overlap matches for you. As you know, in the trace back for the global alignment, we started from the bottom right corner of the scoring matrix and we progressively moved towards the top left. In this way, we extracted the best alignment, the best global alignment between the two sequences. However, as I mentioned, there can be a case where one sequence is overhanging the other sequence or is containing the other sequence. So let's take a look at how that can be relevant. So the leading and trailing edges can be there. For instance, if you have a sequence X, then a portion of this sequence can be leading and a portion of the other sequence may be trailing. Similarly, there can be a situation where a sequence, in this case Y, is contained within X and therefore X has a leading as well as a trailing edge. So such alignments need to be considered by creating a modification in the traceback strategy. So let's take a look at the Needleman Munch once again. So all you did was you put two sequences on the top and the left like that. You initialize the first column to zero and the first row to zero. Then you allocated scores for match, mismatch and gap or the gap penalty and for all of these elements in the matrix so on you computed the value of each of these elements by taking the maximum of three values that you computed like that so this was your top and left which included gap and this was your diagonal element and it included a match or a mismatch score added to the position value like that. So you used this strategy to complete this matrix. Here the matrix has been completed for you and I'm going to talk about how the traceback strategy can be modified. So for the global alignment, we started from the corner element or the bottom right element. And we made our way to the top left element. However, to find overlap matches, you do not need to do that. In the overlap matching, you need to find the maximum value in the last column as well as the last row. So as you can see here, the highest value is 25 here. So you start with 25. So the idea is to take the maximum from these two, from this column and this row. So starting from 25, you trace back in a way that is similar to the global alignment. However, you do not end up with the top left element. You may end up anywhere on the top row or the left column. So as you can see here, you have ended up on this 0 and this 25. So essentially it means that sequence number 1 and sequence number 2, so if this is sequence number 1, then it contains a portion of sequence number 2 such that 
sequence number two has a trailing edge. You can see that because there is still one element that is not considered in the best alignment. So the trailing edge has an E here, this one. And the rest of the sequence, C, A, W, H, E, A is here and H, E. So A, G, A, W, G, H, E, E is here. And of course, there is H, E before that. So this sequence is the leading edge. So in this way, what you have done is you have aligned the two sequences using the needleman wunsch algorithm, but with a different traceback strategy. Let me erase all of that and show you how the sequence alignment looks like in fact. So these two sequences have been aligned. And as you will notice, this is the leading edge in sequence number one. And this is the trailing edge in sequence number two. So in this way, the two sequences, they stand aligned. So in conclusion, we have seen that a slight modification in the traceback strategy that is, instead of starting from the bottom right to the top left, we have just started from the maximum score in the bottom row or the left column and stepwise trace to the zero in the top row or the left column. And this gives us the trailing edges or leading edges. There are other interesting applications of other traceback strategies as well, which we will see later.